In early September of 2021, more than 22,000 earthquakes were recorded in the span of just one week on the island of La Palma. It was the first sign that something major was about to happen. A little over a week later, the Cumbre Vieja volcano erupted for the first time in 50 years, destroying 2,600 buildings and covering over 1,000 hectares of land. While this event made news around the world, there are some other volcanoes that may steal the spotlight in the not-so-distant future. From Italy to the United States, here are five volcanoes that could erupt in 2022. Mount Vesuvius might be the most famous volcano of all time, and you probably already know that it destroyed the Roman city of Pompeii in 79 AD. But what you may not know is that Mount Vesuvius could erupt again, and soon. It is not at all a historical relic, but a very alive potential threat. Mount Vesuvius is in fact an active volcano, and is considered to be one of the most dangerous in the world. This is not just due to how active it is, but because three million Italians live close enough to it to be affected by a future eruption. Half a million people live even closer in what's called the danger zone. This makes Mount Vesuvius the most densely populated volcanic region in the entire world. The Italian government is so concerned about Vesuvius that they are actively trying to get people to move away from it. They're creating a national park around the volcano that nobody will be allowed to live in, as well as offering people direct financial incentives to go move somewhere else. Now, I'm sure there's plenty of people who would enjoy being paid to move to, say, Venice. The end goal for the government is to get to the point where the whole population around Vesuvius could be evacuated in just a few days. Only a thousand people or so are said to have died when Vesuvius destroyed Pompeii. An eruption of a similar size in the near future would surely be much, much worse. Mount Hood is located 50 miles south of Portland, Oregon. It offers the only year-round lift-served skiing in North America, which is fun. What's less fun is that it is also a potentially active stratovolcano. When Mount Hood erupts again, it will cause major damage, not just to the area directly around it, but to the places that are downstream. Mount Hood is very episodic in how eruptive it is. There have been periods with lots of eruptions happening all the time. There have also been periods of thousands of years where nothing happens at all. About 1,500 years ago, a lengthy dormant period came to an end. It is now considered to be an active period once again. A major eruption at Mount Hood in modern times would be disastrous. Scientists think that the most likely Mount Hood eruption would be the collapse of a lava dome that leads to pyroclastic flows. You really would not want to be skiing on that day. Several thousand residents would have to be displaced, and millions of dollars worth of damage would be done to buildings and other infrastructure. In early 2021, the United States Geological Survey reported a 45-minute earthquake swarm near the volcano. While typically a sign of something to come, it isn't always the case. Only time will tell when the next eruption will occur. Mount Merapi is well known as an active volcano. It has been erupting regularly for the past 500 years, and is the most dangerous volcano in Indonesia. Like Vesuvius, it is especially perilous because of just how many people live nearby. Merapi, which appropriately more or less translates to Mountain of Fire in English, is just 17 miles north of Yogyakarta City, which has a population of 2.4 million. Thousands of people also live right on the flanks of the volcano itself, there are villages near Merapi that are over 5,000 feet above sea level, which is as high as Denver. 
It's not exactly difficult to imagine Mount Merapi erupting in 2022, since it erupted in 2021. On January 4, 2021, eruptions began which were serious enough to evacuate parts of Yogyakarta. The geological authorities invoked the second highest alert level that November because sensors had picked up an increase in activity that warned them the situation could become even more unstable than usual. On March 27, another eruption occurred. Merapi oozed lava and created pyroclastic flows. In August, there were even more new lava flows and a cloud of ash that shot miles into the air. Smoke can often be seen drifting up from the mountain, something which must feel a little ominous even for the people who have lived there their whole lives. With such recent activity, it is possible we will see more eruptions from this volcano in 2022. Indonesia has unfortunately been stuck with two of the volcanoes on this list. Indonesia is home to over 130 volcanoes. And not just volcanoes, but 130 active volcanoes, which is the most of any country in the world. The entire Indonesian island arc system is made of volcanoes, but the majority are on the two largest islands, Java and Sumatra. Krakatoa, which is located in the Indonesian province of Lampung, could also erupt soon. Krakatoa is what's known as a caldera. A caldera is formed when a magma chamber gets emptied out in a volcanic eruption. Caldera means cooking pot in Spanish, and the name is used because they basically look like big cauldrons. In 2018, an eruption of Krakatoa caused the Sunda Strait tsunami which took the lives of 426 people. In 1883, Krakatoa had one of the deadliest and most destructive eruptions in recorded human history. The explosions were so intense that they could be heard nearly 2,000 miles away in Australia. Could another Krakatoa eruption be on the horizon? One of the things which makes Krakatoa so dangerous is that Indonesia does not have an advanced early warning system in place for volcano-generated tsunamis. And in this area, the tsunami generated by the eruption is far more dangerous than the eruption itself. A major eruption leading to a tsunami combined with the lack of a real warning system means that the next Krakatoa eruption could be very deadly. Considering how active this volcano tends to be, it's likely we will see more eruptions, whether small or large, in 2022. La Palma is part of the Canary Islands in Spain. It's the fifth largest of the islands, and 85,000 people live there. But should they? As mentioned earlier, the island is home to the Cumbre Vieja volcano. The Cumbre Vieja, or Old Peak in English, erupted in 2021. The eruption began in the middle of September as a flank eruption at the ridge which comprises the southern half of La Palma. Being the first eruption in 50 years and considering how large it was, it was quite the wake-up call. Around 7,000 people had to be evacuated due to the eruption. Lava ended up covering over 1,000 hectares, nearly four square miles. The lava flow was two miles wide at its widest point, four miles long, and reached all the way to the sea. It destroyed 2,600 buildings and cut right through the coastal highway. It even ended up forming a new peninsula. The small town of Todoke was totally wiped off the map by the lava flows. Luckily, all of this only resulted in one loss of life. This is the most serious volcanic eruption on the island since they started keeping records. The reason this was included on this list is that the eruption is currently still ongoing at the time of making this video, meaning that it's possible this eruption will continue far into 2022. There are even various tsunami scenarios related to this volcano which has many quite concerned by the sudden awakening. Could the next eruption be even more severe? 
Most people don't know that Mount Fuji is in fact a volcano. And because of how dense Japan's population is, if it were to have a large eruption, it could be catastrophically bad. Recent forecasts of what a Mount Fuji eruption might look like have shown that lava and pyroclastic flows could reach even larger areas than previously thought. According to new research, some areas near Mount Fuji could get hit with lava just two hours after the eruption, which is 10 hours earlier than was previously expected. 10 hours is a lot of time as far as evacuations are concerned. Based on an analysis of all the Mount Fuji eruptions of the past 5,000 years, the size of the crater formed by the next eruption is most likely going to be two and a half miles across. The next eruption will also likely produce 32 million cubic feet of pyroclastic flow and 4 billion cubic feet of lava. In recent years, a volcanology professor, Hiroki Kamata, has stated that Mount Fuji is on standby for the next eruption. Could this come true in 2022? Now that you know a bit more about the world's most active volcanoes, don't be too surprised if you see them making the news in the upcoming year. The Earth can be a dangerous place. Hopefully, better technology allows us to better prepare and predict when a major eruption will occur. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.